it's nothing new But it's so good to see you Hello everyone and welcome to a fridge organization video. If you don't know, my name is Delane and I am so excited that you are here joining me. So I have a few things that I purchased at the Dollar Tree that I love to use in my fridge. I already have a few in there. They didn't have more white ones, but they did have black ones. So I was pretty excited to at least find some more of them. Okay, guys, don't judge my fridge. Oh, man, it is real messy. Oh, my goodness. So that coffee right there is Joseph's that he's in the middle of drinking, and that is leftovers from dinner. I did not touch the fridge. I didn't try to make it look good beforehand. Y'all, this is just real life. And can someone please tell me that they have a million sauces all the time? We have so many. Oh, my goodness. Our freezer is also just a mess. There used to be kind of a rhyme or reason to it, but not so much anymore, honestly. So first thing that I did was take things out from the top two shelves, just because that was the easiest. I don't know about you guys, but seriously, taking things out of the fridge is so annoying to me, hence the reason why my fridge looks like this. But I decided the top would be for drinks. Yes, we have two water purifiers. I don't know. Don't ask. I just, I have no idea why, but that's fine. <laughs> and we have a lot of milk in our fridge because my husband eats cereal so much and I usually use coconut milk or almond milk. What about you guys? What kind of milk do you use? Because I'm slightly lactose intolerant. Thanks grandma for the peach jam. Delicious. Okay, once all of the drinks we're up there. I started putting things in after they'd been washed and prepped and ready. Those little um, teethers are the best. I just like to keep them in the fridge because in the freezer, they're so hard. Oh my goodness. I know that there's no point in putting crescent rolls in there, but I like it because it doesn't, they don't roll around. So that's a good, a good thing is if you have stuff like that, they won't roll around. So as you can see, I just started by putting the bins in there. I had some eggs and I checked the date. So I made sure that I would know when they were going to go bad, but I just put those in there and they actually fit perfectly. Let me know. Do you guys put eggs in something else or do you keep them in the cartons? I'm very curious about that for other people. Okay. Okay. I always forget that we have cuties when we have them. So I thought the best thing would be to take them out and put them in a container so that I actually knew that I had them and did not forget about them like I do so frequently. I'd like to say that I don't, but literally y'all, I do every stinking time. So hopefully having them in view will make it so that I don't forget again because they're expensive but also they're delicious so why am I not eating them all the time I don't know ridiculous can't handle myself they fit very perfect in there now I already had these white ones and I put cheese in one of them pretty much always just to have it so that I can easily find it and it's not difficult and shoved in the back because I've had it be shoved in the back a ton and then I don't know that I have it and then I have different lunch meats and pepperoni that I like to keep in the other one just because it's easy to find once again it doesn't get shoved in the back one time I'm not gonna lie to you I had a pack of lunch meat shoved all the way back in our fridge and I was trying to get things out and I found it and it had been back there for so long even though I had cleaned and I had done things in our fridge y'all how does that even happen tell me I'm not alone some blackberries and I like to put fruit or I like to put things that Jensen is eating in those little ones and yum 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 pumpkin whipped cream sausage just decided to put it in that bin now on to the messiness of this I don't have bins to organize this but I decided that I could at least store it better in there I know that some people, they have bins or my friend Anna, who I watched her video and was totally inspired to do this. She had found things around the house, containers, and used those, which is a great idea. I just, for some reason, did not do that. I don't know why, y'all. I just didn't. And also, 
please tell me I'm not alone in the fact that these get so dirty so quick. Once that was done, I started just putting things in there to fill it up. And once again, there wasn't a ton of rhyme or reason. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I just put vegetables in there because easy. Then I decided I love to use zucchini and squash. And I just wanted it out and easy for me to grab, to wash, to clean out. So I put it in that bin and the mushrooms with the tomatoes and carrots and things that kind of went together. Y'all, that is a bin that those are in. Why is it overflowing? I don't know because we can't put things in our fridge nicely. <sighs> so frustrating. And my husband works at Chick-fil-A, so hence the Chick-fil-A sauces. Because when we go, we always, of course, ask for extra and we just keep them all in our fridge because we love them. And Taco Bell sauce because also, yum. Who doesn't like Taco Bell sauce? If you don't like it, sorry. So now on to a million and a half condiments. My goodness gracious. Why do I have two barbecue sauces open? That's ridiculous. I took all of the spicy things out because I did not need to have that up there. You'll see in a minute why I say that some Whataburger ketchup and now on to the next part. If you cannot tell, those are basically all spicy things and salsas because we love them. We have banana peppers, jalapenos, y'all, all the salsas, all of the things and no it doesn't look pretty but at least it's all in the same area. So I will count that as a win. Then we have our creamers, our pumpkin whipped cream, y'all yum try it some chocolate sauce and some seven up and twist up from heb no idea why we have both of those okay now on to the embarrassment of the freezer y'all i feel like no matter what i do the freezer is never organized never so I just decided the best way to do this, at least for right now, was to put all of the meat on the bottom shelf. So that is just what I did. I started taking things out, kind of finding where I had the meat stored, and just moving it to the bottom shelf, which seems like easy. I should have been doing that the whole time. But for some reason, it just goes in and then everything is shoved on top of everything else. So... I'm sure that other people relate, but I really want to stay on top of this because I am someone that I love to have an organized area. I love when things are in order. Even if it doesn't look super put together, I love when things are organized and I know where stuff is. My biggest pet peeve is not knowing where things are. As you can see, I'm just moving the meat around, trying to figure out the best way and then taking things out. And don't mind those humongous freezer ice pack things. They were from a meal delivery kit. And I thought, oh, I should just save this because I am slightly a hoarder. And we never use them and they're just in the way. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know why I kept them. So I got rid of them. Sorry if you think that was silly, but I don't know what I'm going to use them for. As you can see, I'm just putting frozen veggies, hash browns, stuff like that on the top. And then, of course, I have some ice cream that I need on display, people. We know the importance of ice cream. It is a, a lifestyle choice, okay? And we are about it over here. The door, y'all, the door. I understand. It is embarrassingly messy, so I just started by taking things out. We have all those popsicles. I don't know why we have popsicles. I don't even like popsicles that much. Well, especially those kind. I think like a year ago I was sick maybe and I wanted popsicles. No idea because it's not something we buy very frequently and our child is not even a year old. So he's not eating popsicles either. I have a bunch of frozen fruit. Well, not a bunch now, just a few bags. But I thought the best thing would be to put those on the top so that I know where they're at all the time and then put a bunch of little ice packs and Jensen's frozen passy. Oh my goodness, so cute. On the bottom shelf because at least 
I will know where the frozen fruit is and it's not mixed in with everything else as it seems to always happen. Always. I don't understand why it's like that. Those are chocolate covered cherries that I like to freeze because I love chocolate covered cherries. Well, y'all, this is the end. So check it out. Let me know what you think. See you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.